Our task here at the Institute of Microelectronic Systems is to design new hardware solutions for digital hearing aids. Think of a person who has hearing deficits and he or she is in a situation with a lot of people, then uh, such a person will always have problems to understand other speakers because there are different voices talking at the same time. There are solutions possible with speaker localization. If I'm talking to you, the beamforming of the microphones that are installed inside my hearing devices are directly devoted to you. If there's noise from the left or right side, then we can separate this and then the signal to noise ratio is much more improved. We wanted to design a new hearing aid processor which comes with an increased computational performance but with a very much restricted power budget. And we did so. This tiny little processor has less than one square millimeter of silicon. The understanding of the algorithms and the transfer of the results into hardware solutions. That is the key challenge. We are working together with Cadence in several ways. We are designing a next generation commercially oriented processor architecture which will come together with the complete tool suite that is built using the Tensilica tools. We are using virtual prototyping uh, technology, that means before we implement something in hardware, we try to build a virtual prototype in order to study um, the communication between several modules of the system-on-chip architecture. Our goal for the future is to introduce artificial intelligence also in hearing aids. There are a lot of ways Cadence can support us in achieving this goal.